Can you solve this SAT question? Believe it or not, this is one of the trickiest questions that the majority gets wrong. So how do we solve it? Do we just solve for X and Y? You might think that this is the only approach, but it's really not. Let's start by simplifying the fraction. In the numerator, we have 16 to the power of x, and the denominator is 64 to the power of y. What do 16 and 64 have in common? It's 4, so we can write 4 as the base. 16 is 4 squared, so we can write 4 to the power of 2x. Similarly, 64 is 4 to the power of 3, so we can write 4 to the power of 3y. Now, as we have the same base for the exponents, we can just subtract the exponents we'll get four to the power of two x minus three y. Looking at the problem, we know that two x minus three y equals three. So we're just one step away from our final answer. We'll get four to the power of three, which is 64. Here you go. The answer is D, 64. Hope this helps and see you guys next time.